Yeah, I always love it when Orlando Sanchez is live in the studio. We're talking all my things man. sports. Uh, my man. <laughs> good, good to see you, you. man. Good to I'm see so you used too. to being out in the field, man. It's, it's so nice to have you. I comfortable here. You brought the tie in. You don't have to wear a tie. Oh, I got so dressed up. It looks, I like that tie. It's a, nice, it's a good tie. So <laughs> it was a bummer day for uh, Oregon State yeah. baseball, but they're not out of it yet. No. And, and by the way, I, I think it should be against the rules to have to play a team twice, even though you, you whipped them 13 to 1 right. before. You but should automatically get a pass all the way to the end. All the way to the end. <laughs> I mean, you're reigning champs. You'd be like, okay, these guys are good enough to keep going. But yeah. so what happened? today yeah so it, it, what a difference a few days can make first playoff loss yeah first playoff loss they were on a roll a 23 game win streak and they ran into an LSU squad that was on a roll and their pitcher Alex Lang he's first round draft pick by the Chicago Cubs and he killed it today just really gave the Beavers issues all day long and uh, the Beavers fall three to one and one, the video that we were just looking at there, there was a controversial play in the third inning that hit the line and should have been called fair. It was called foul. No one reviewed it, and that falls on both the umpires and on the Beavers because coaching they, staff. Because they do have instant replay in oh, yeah, college you, baseball. Yeah. But you've got to go out there and say, hey, guys, we need to take a look at this play and see what the deal is. They didn't, and that could have potentially cost them at least a run, and maybe it changes the outcome or at least the way that the game is played. So they're now knotted up one game apiece. One game and apiece. And tomorrow is do or die for yeah. both. Both, both both schools, of course, we want the Beavers to win. We got Joe Donlin going to be heading out there. Kathy Marshall, who's a, an alum. It's a she's party. Out. We don't want to see the, the party spoiled. No, no, of course so, not. So that's my hometown. So this is this got to be good luck, you know, to, for the for the Beavers to be back to back champions. You know, that that wouldn't be bad, especially a ten year anniversary of the, of the time when they went back to back champs in 2006, 2007. Yeah. So they're on the verge. This is a special season. They're doing things that they've never done before in a program that is so storied and. This is what they do. They rally. And so don't be surprised if we're still talking about them come Monday when they play. But first things first, they've tomorrow. got to take on LSU tomorrow. It'll either be played at noon or at 5 o'clock. So that'll be determined tonight. Got to like those uh, under the lights at TD Ameritrade in Omaha. You would downtown. know all about that, it's man. It's a great – I got to tell you, if you guys ever get an opportunity to go to a uh, College World Series game, it is fantastic. The people of Omaha are very welcoming, and they love their <laughs> Oregon State Beavers. It looks sure. awesome. Yeah. All right, cool. So we go we go from Beavers baseball to Blazers. Woo! Last night was Woo! a big night, and I got to say, yeah. an A plus for the for the Blazers. We got we got Dude. the the stretch forward, yes. as uh, Chris, the director, would say, a stretch forward. Um, Zach Collins, Zach Collins out of uh, uh, Gonzaga. Then yeah. you also have the kid from Purdue. Yeah, we Caleb needed a power Swan forward. So, I mean, come on. Yeah, you know, we were wondering what would the Blazers do. They had three first round draft picks. That's more draft picks than they had in the last three years combined. And what did they do? They moved into things and had a little bit of action there. So they traded away their. 15th and their 20th picks Very to get the 10th pick and they went with this man. It was a Zach surprise. Collins. Yeah, it, it was because I didn't know exactly what they were going to do and that's what was the fun part for Blazers fans here in Rip City was the, the possibilities were endless. There were so many rumors and things like that, but Zach Collins, he's a guy that can stretch the floor. He's a big guy. He's a seven-footer, 230 pounds. He can shoot from the outside. He can get you buckets. He can put it down. This is something that the Blazers were missing, and they're hoping that he can complement a guy like Yusuf Nurkic, who clogs the paint. The he's just a beast. big fella. You need so when that. you have two guys like this, this is just a great complimentary piece. You hope that he is someone that they can go to right away. Zach Collins, though, one of the knocks that you'll get on him is he actually came off the bench. Well, he's a young Zaga. player, too. He's 19 I mean, years old. 19 years old, and yeah. he's got some time to put some muscle on. He was super efficient, but can he do that it, with the big boys? We'll That's see, yet to be seen. We'll see what happens. Also, we got uh, Caleb Swan again out of yes. Purdue, which is he's, he's, he's going to be another good player. Yeah, too. and he's a big guy. He's a beast, 6'8", and he clogs the paint as well. Adds toughness to that the That power forward squad. we need. Yeah, yeah, and, and he adds toughness to, to a squad that – you know, honestly, could use a little bit of, of extra oomph. Big Ten in, Player in the of the paint. Year. Big Ten Player of the Year. So this guy is solid. But we talked about this in the newsroom. His backstory, the what he's been through, the trials and tribulations throughout his life. I mean, he lived in multiple homeless shelters. He, uh, I, I believe, the report said that he. By the time he was 13 years old, he had gone to 13 different schools. Oh, wow. So you've yeah. been rooting for him, definitely. Oh, yeah. So people here in Rip City are going to fall in love with this guy. He's done the work. And even this, in high school, he lost 100 pounds. So that just shows you the dedication that he has to hoop it up. He's probably vegan. The perfect town for him <laughs> <Yeah>. right <laughs> Probably is, man. Hey, man, thanks so much for coming Appreciate in. You. Timbers this weekend, Sunday night. Keep Big cool. rivalry. Game's at seven. Yeah, huge rivalry against the Sounders at 7.30 uh, start time anyway.